hello and once again good evening YouTube welcome back welcome back to some more of this game officers evening officer please go away officer go away hello and once again good evening uh, YouTube welcome back welcome back to the Cup Cause Games channel and welcome back to some more street racing sin dick it yes this guy wants to race Step up, bro. Izzy is a man, apparently. What? Telling me to step up, bro, in the most masculine voice possible. MTF, perhaps. Welcome back to some more of this game, uh, Street Racing Syndicate. Last time we did a bunch of stuff. Um, unlocked the first girlfriend. That was a highlight, to say the least. And today, today I have no idea what we're going to do. Oh, that's a truck. Today we're just going to continue playing the game. Um, I've already used half the nitro, not even half the nitro actually. Um, at some point I should probably like buy more. Maybe I'll, uh, I want to try and buy more cars in this playthrough because we just, we did basically nothing. In the last game, I had, like, three cars total. <laughs> so, perhaps we should have a more variety of vehicles in this playthrough this time around. And I will say, I will say, I'm feeling a lot better today. I mean, I can feel it in my nose. It's getting ready to sneeze some more, so it's gonna be... It's gonna be pretty ugly, probably, but this race is already longer than half the actual plot races that we did in the last episode, so... But yeah, um, we're doing pretty good, I've got a shit ton of money, I keep doing max bet every single race, and actually we found an exploit last time where, um, the bets are supposed to get lower the more that you bet with someone, just to simulate that you taking all their money, but actually, I did the max bet with one guy three races in a row and it gave me the max bet every single time so we are getting extra money as a result we do have extra money so the game may or may not be completely broken I honestly couldn't tell you um all I know is they should have figured that out in QA so let's go to a crew meet um Ooh, 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 oh, we've got, we've got respect challenges. That's, oh, this is the girlfriend challenges is what this is. I guess we'll go to Sasha's, no. Christy. Oh my god, there's so many characters. Christy has a, oh, it's, it's, it, the green is next to the, uh, names. I thought that Christy had a green next to her because it was done already. Okay, well, we're jumping to Christy. Chris Christy, obviously. That would be a way more funny, actually, if it was Chris Christie. Hi there. Nice car. My <laughs> ex-boyfriend had one like that, and he holds the three-lap record for this block. You think you can beat him? What the fuck is this voice So what acting? do you say? Okay. I guess we're going fast. <laughs> <coughs> wow. That was some incredible voice acting right there. <laughs> Alright, well, we're doing three laps this time. Oh my goodness. It looks like they even turned off uh, traffic for this instance. Boy, they're making it too easy for me. Oh, in the wall. That didn't count! Oh my god, dude, it's an actual checkpoint. No fucking way, dude. It was an actual checkpoint. That's messed up. Oh, how could this happen? Oh, no, I'm not gonna get Christy. No. Deadass. If this was actually- if it was Chris Christy instead, this would be the greatest game I'd ever played. Because... The- 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 the-, the that's what needs to exist. Okay, there needs to be a dating sim- uh, there needs to be a political dating simulator. You know, like the Sonic Macro Sonic game that I played back in fucking college, Jesus Christ. That was a long time ago. <laughs> they need to do that, but with politicians. 
I know they made that fucking John Cena dating game, which was funny and all for the first five minutes, but no, I think a dating simulator where you have to date a bunch of old politicians, that sounds amazing. That actually sounds amazing. Like, those kind of games appear to be pretty easy to make because it's just like a, it's just a, it's just an interactive story, basically. Like, if you've got the technology... By the way, this, this dude's, this girl's ex has the record here, and I missed an entire checkpoint, and I'm still gonna get it by 20 seconds. Dude must be driving, like, a fucking Volvo or something. You shit. are hot! Come on, let's get out of here. If you say so. <laughs> All of the fucking idle animations, too, getting in there. This is a great idea. No one steal this idea. I'm gonna look into this. Alright, so your girlfriend is waiting to party at the warehouse. So we've already got two girlfriends. Where a pro down bad is, is real promiscuous. I don't know why you would ever drive to a location where you can just jump there. By the way, that doesn't make any sense. So that means that we have unlocked a second girlfriend. Oh my goodness. Christy loves guys who are sure of themselves. What does that mean? Also, you see, like, you've got the uh, measurements down there. 34, 24, 33. 34, 24, 34. Bruh. I had no idea what that was when I was little. The only ever reference that I've had for that kind of thing was in Big Butt's Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. He goes 36, 24, 36 in that. That's the, and that's the only time I ever heard anything like this. They probably have this shit in like Playboy or whatever. I've never bought a fucking Playboy. A, I'm gay. B, they don't even sell that shit anymore. C, I was like 13 when I played this game. Which shouldn't, which is actually the target demographic if you think about it. But yeah, this girl's got a video too, don't you worry about that. Oh my god, the music. <laughs> Why? Genuinely, I, I don't understand why this exists. Like, who thought this was a good idea? Who at you Technics actually thought that this was a reason? Like, you gotta be down fucking bad. I know for a fact th there has to be someone on this planet that has jacked off to these videos. There has to be. But, like, this is the most candid nonsense that I have ever fucking witnessed. Like, what is this? Why? So... When you do the hookup button, like, we can get with Christy. Are you sure you want to roll with this girl? No, I'm not sure, actually. I probably need protection, if we're honest. But yeah, now she's got a check mark next to her, so... We'll drive the car now. And, like, I don't know, can we see in the windshield if she's there? <laughs> Is she gonna give commentary? When we're fucking driving? I don't know if there's any benefit to ha You know what? Hold on a second. I'm looking in the I'm looking in the in the car. You can see on the left side where the driver's seat is. There's like a, a head shape, but on the passenger side there isn't. There's no one in the car. It's just me. She's not in the car. Fucking lying ass game, saying that I'm bringing my girlfriend with me and I've got nothing. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to remember the ones that I have finished and have not finished. Okay, I'll, we're gonna go to the storm drain one because this this is the only part of the game that I remember Right here. This is the only fucking part of the game that I remember is the storm drain location. Oh My god, it's the pube dress lady again. You're kidding me. She's everywhere. Stop taking pictures in front of my car I don't need your fucking pube dress ruining my fucking car. Okay, so, this storm drain race, I remember being difficult. I got stuck on this for a while. So, let's see if it's actually hard. Alright, well, the gang's all here. The fucking same gang as always. So, I'm gonna bet with Adrian. Two grand on his ass. 
And if my hypothesis is correct, if we bet with him every single time, it should be 2,000 every single time, even though the number goes down on that screen. Anyway, alright, well, we're off. It's the same three clowns that I've raced to every other event. So that's great. But yeah, I remember this. I, the, I, I remember this being the storm drain, and like... One of the big reasons why I remember this is that I never could remember what these are called. I always thought these were called water basins. But I guess it's a storm drain, and I'm gonna forget that by the time I find out about a storm drain again next. Because they have it in LA Rush, re referencing LA Rush some more. They have a section in Need for Speed Underground 1 where you go through that. I always call it a water basin. I don't know, I'm stupid. But like, you fucking look up pictures of storm drains on the fucking internet, and like, sometimes they won't, they don't look like this shit. I don't know, dude. I'm, t I'm, I'm tired. So, but like, oh dear! Alright, well, that's not good. Oh, that's very not good. Well, that's a lot of damage right there. Oh my goodness, Phil Swift is on the case. That was a lot of damage, probably. I guess I should have seen that one coming, if we're honest. Maybe that's why this is so difficult, because I always died on the last corner. Whatever, it's fine. Um... So, like, we, we, there was a check mark next to the girl, she's obviously not in the car, and it's probably a good thing that she's not in the car, she's probably gonna be, like, flying around, and, like, no doubt about it, she did not wear a seatbelt, that's fucking... Christy doesn't strike me as a seatbelt kind of lady. That's just my first impression, right there. But, like, what they should have done was have the girlfriends give you benefits. Like, one girlfriend gives you, like, 5% bonus boost. Or, like, the, 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 the car yeah, has better... Br like, they, sh they should have given you some sort of benefit. But, no, it literally is just a check mark on a screen. It does fucking nothing. Having a girlfriend in your car does nothing. If anything, it would just weigh the car down. If anything, it would just weigh the fucking car down. Like, bruh. Literally no benefit. But I can see the reason why this would be difficult is because this is a lot of big swooping corners and a lot of long straightaways. So, like, you need a car that's got a lot of power if you're going to be winning these races. So I'm assuming that I played through this game, never upgraded the car because it was so easy, and then we went to the 300 horsepower range, and then I got my ass whooped constantly. Okay. So the physics are annoying, to say the least, and I've damaged the car a shit ton in the first race of this championship, so that's marvelous. Finished! First place? No way! <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? I'm not sitting, waiting for it to give me $2,000. You can just forget about that. Okay. Yeah, see, now Adrian's down to 1500 so if I bet with him again, is it actually going to be 1500 Was this a one-time thing, or is this the entire playthrough? Because, holy shit, we can launder some fucking money. We can launder some fucking money, depending on how, how this goes over here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the, uh, the rear view camera looking at your opponents instead of just looking back. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. I think it's a neat concept. It's, there's definitely a good idea in there somewhere. But, like, I think the better camera thing is just a free-moving camera that you can control on the right stick. Like, that gives you free reign to do whatever the fuck you want with that. So, it's some good shit. But yeah, we're still playing Street Racing Syndicate. This game is a game that exists. I really don't know what else to say beyond that. This is, uh... I mean, we're in a pretty similar situation to that of, uh... 
Fast and Furious game. Like, there's a random guy that talks to you occasionally, but, like, hardly at all, honestly. And then you... There's no bets, I guess. You don't do bets in Fast and Furious. So, that's exciting, I guess. That's a major change. But you have fucking roll-up races in that game, too. No police in Fast and Furious. I mean... We haven't seen police in a race yet, like, what's the point of the police if they only exist in free roam? I have yet to see any game that implements the police better than Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Never. And I've played Hot Pursuit too. You know what we should do is play Hot Pursuit too, because I have barely played any of it. That was actually one of the first Need for Speed games I ever played because I had a fucking cousin who had a, 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 a Nintendo 64, I want to say. Not even a 64, I think it was a Super NES. And I played a basketball game with him on that, and it was a real, it was terrible, I hated it. But, um, he also had a console of some sort that had a uh, Hot Pursuit 2. And I played that, and I remember not really caring for that either. I don't know. That was just an overall not great experience with that guy. But, you know, it's all good. He's a stoner now. I don't know. He definitely is on weed. I don't know if he's on any other drugs. I haven't heard if he's getting clean or not. I don't know. Dude looks like an actual, like, fucking skateboarder hippie, too. Like, funny guy. He was, like, four years older than me. I learned a lot of crazy shit from him anyway. Not the point of this video. The point of the conversation I was gonna have is that I played Hot Pursuit 2 there, and then Toxic sent me Hot Pursuit 2, like, five years ago. <laughs> and I never played it, because I was like, I don't know get out of it. I've never cared for this game. Alright, is the wager gonna be more? It is! Look at this! Two grand every single time. So that's $4,000 that I've earned from this loser, thanks. <laughs> yeah, and the number keeps going down on the list, but it, it isn't actually. It's only going down on that list. It's not going off in execution, only in theory. Wow. All right, race number three. Boy, if I'd known this back when I was little, we would have really been making bank and I wouldn't have had to worry about the ante so much. Really, you don't have to worry about the ante at all. I mean, this is a lot like Juiced. Once again, this is a lot like Juiced. Where it seems like you have to spend so much money to be able to advance through the game, but you really don't. <coughs> and then the fucking uh, <coughs> snowball effect of winning all the money. <coughs> Stop fucking sneezing. The snowball effect of winning all the money and winning all the bets, like you just end up with a million dollars before you even realize. And then it's hardly, a, it's not a problem at all, like, it's just an issue in the very, very early part of the game where you're just learning. <coughs> Please stop fucking sneezing. <coughs> we're not gonna stop sneezing? Alright. Sounds like we're not gonna stop sneezing. Great, so that's me going for the rest of this session. Yeah, it was a nice 15 minutes before that. Before that. <coughs> I hate you. I take my fucking allergy pills every night. In fact, I've actually upped the dosage. Back when uh, I was at the old hotel, I started uh, having, like, really bad sounding allergies like this, right? I, had, I was in a situation like this, so I was like, okay, idea. What if I took three pills instead of two? And it worked! That actually worked! I stopped sneezing as much, I was still sneezing, but I wasn't going like all the time. I didn't have shit sitting in my fucking nose all the time. I wasn't like dripping from the fucking nose. I didn't, you know, look and sound like I was some sort of fucking like freak accident, you know? But the problem with that is that the result of taking three pills, you're not gonna fucking believe this, but the result of taking three pills was reduced vocal range. When I was in the car, trying to sing along to songs, I couldn't. I couldn't hit high notes. 
Like, not only was I, uh, not only was the range reduced, but, like, the tone was different. Taking three pills resulted in my singing voice changing. And I couldn't stand it, so I just, I just... I, I, I tried my best to only take two pills as opposed to three. But, um... But if I took two pills, I sounded like this, and sneezed all the time. But if I took three pills, I had reduced vocal range. And, like, reduced vocal range really didn't matter, because this is, like, 2018, 2019, early 2019. I wasn't hardly even recording the first album at this point. You know, this reminds me of that one year of school, where the first, like, the second day that I went back, this started happening to me. And I was, and, and... Like, my mom was like, oh, it's allergies. And my grandma was like, oh, it's allergies. And I was sitting there like, it's not allergies. I've been outside in the world working at the grocery store every single day all summer. Like, it's not allergies. I've been out in the elements. Like, it's, I, I, I go back to school and I've got a sore throat. I'm sneezing. I feel like shit. It's not fucking allergies. It can't be. Because I've literally been working this whole time. Ooh, ooh, that was a nice shot, actually. If we could get a thumbnail out of that, that'd be alright. But yeah, I was like, how is it allergies? I've literally been working all summer. Out in the fucking world. The wide world. Out in the environment and shit. Like, how? How could it be allergies? No, I got sick the day that I got back to fucking school. It was bullshit. I, 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 I don't know, man. I guess that's the first race done. <laughs> How much money do we have now, pray tell? We got 6000 from being... Oh, my goodness. $50,000. Oh, yeah. That was 30% that was damage. One wall hit was 30% damage. Jesus. I am a duplication innocently. I was conceived so violently. Oh, we're flying now. Oh! Okay, we're good, we're good. Just a quick 360 no scope. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. How the fuck are you fucking morons going this fast? Oh, we're facing backwards. How wonderful. Can you? Okay. Bitch! Move! Dude, there's nothing I can do unless you fucking go. That just happened. <laughs>